it juice, juice. No AP. She got it juice. I got your juicy entertainment news for Monday. Kanye is a real life Santa Claus to the kids in Chicago. He's really given back this holiday season. He bought almost 4,000 toys that were donated to a toy drive on Sunday in Englewood, which is a na- neighborhood located on the south side of Chicago that he frequently visits and uh, likes to give back to. And you know, this is not the first time he's been given back this year. Late November, he met with the CEO of LA Mission and other charitable organizations to discuss Los Angeles's homeless homelessness problem, which we know we've heard him talk about quite a few times. He really wants to make a difference, and his aim is to partner with groups in the city to continually support Apply food to the unhoused and to use his companies as a mean to provide education, jobs, and housing, which is just so fantastic. You know, he's a little strange, but he really likes to give back. And the week before, um, around Thanksgiving, he already made good on his promises by giving 1,000 meals to the L.A. Mission. And most recently, he organized the free Larry Hoover benefit concert uh, in L.A. at the Memorial Coliseum earlier this month. Leonardo DiCaprio had a real-life Titanic ice moment while he was filming his latest movie, Don't Look Up, that stars Jennifer Lawrence, Meryl Streep, Jonah Hill, and Tyler Perry. He was telling a story in an interview recently that he had to save his dogs when they fell through the frozen lake. He said one of the dogs fell in, so... He jumped into the frozen lake to save the dog. As soon as he pushed the one dog out of the water, the other one jumped in. Um, And then the other one started licking the one that was drowning. And then they all of a sudden, they were all in the frozen lake together. Luckily, they were able to get themselves out, both dogs and himself, obviously. Um, And uh, he did not have the same Titanic ending. Don't Look Up is currently in theaters and arrives on Netflix on Christmas Eve, December 24th. This is my favorite story of the day. Martha Stewart has a last-minute holiday gift idea for you. I don't know about you, but I love Martha Stewart. I love her and uh, Snoop Dogg's relationship, their dynamics, the chemistry between the two of them. And I just find that Martha has really showed us a very funny side to herself. Well, her last-minute holiday gift idea is the ceramic nativity set that she made while serving time in jail. Yes! She's cashing in on it. Now, Martha's 80, all right? Love her. She spent five months behind bars at the federal prison camp in Alderson, West Virginia, back in 2004-2005 for lying about her sale of I'm Clone shares, which is kind of ironic because she took a pottery class while she was incarcerated, and uh, she created 14 figurines of religious idols, including Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus. And uh, she said that she still has her inmate number on the bottom of them. And she's now capitalizing off of her favorite prison pastime, selling replicas of the nativity scene on her website. She's been advertising the products on her TikTok uh, account as well. And uh, humorously, uh, she jokingly said that the ceramic set would make the perfect gift because it has a little street cred. <laughs> the set usually retails for $149, but she's discounted it to $120 ahead of the holiday. It comes complete with three camels, two shepherds, two ox, three wise men, and innkeeper Jesus, Mary, and Joseph and her inmate number. Martha Stewart. Gotta love her. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Monday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.